Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, we will discuss about AOT versus GIT compilation in a Flutter. So get ready to learn how this technique influences development and deployment phase. So basically these two processes making Flutter a powerful for building dynamic application. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you know that we have to go through two different phases whenever we create any Dart or Flutter application. The development phase and the deployment phase. The development phase is when you write, run, debug and test your application. Alternately, the deployment phase is also referred to as the production mode or we can say release mode. And it's also we can say is this when you are about to release your final application. Now let's delve into each section in depth and discuss the development phase. When deploying desktop or mobile application, the program is handed over to GIT, which is a just-in-time compiler. In constraint to regular compiler, GIT allow you to modify source code while the program is running. It also eliminating the need to stop application and recompile. GIT perform runtime translation of your code. It also knowing is dynamic compilation or compilation on the fly. So this feature enable Flutter to support hot reloading. Also combining GIT with Dart virtual machine allow you to execute your code on any device irrespective of its architecture. So executing your Flutter application involves dispatching your code to any connected device whether it's Android phone, iOS phone or desktop application regardless of device architecture or hardware. So as you can deploy your code seamlessly now. This is an approach for developing desktop and mobile application using Flutter and Dart. To develop desktop or mobile application, you need to compile them with a GIT compiler along with a data virtual machine. However, when deploying the application, AOT compilation is required because AOT produces native specific code base on your requirements instead of relying on GIT. For web application, you need to compile using the dev c compiler, which is a Dart development time compiler. This compiler transforms your Dart application into JavaScript code. For the final release deployment, instead of dev c, you should use the Dart to JS compiler. Dart to JS is a Dart to JavaScript compiler that convert your code into optimized JavaScript code for web browser. The reason for having two different compilation techniques for deployment and development is straightforward. As a software developer, a rapid development cycle and dynamic compilation are desired. On the other hand, end user preferred application that start quickly and are optimized in terms of size and performance. So this constraining requirement need to use the GIT and DOC during development and EOT and Dart to JS for deployment. Let's look at the development of web application. Generally in this case a Dart program is compiled using Compiler called DevC, which stands for Dart Development and Compiler. It is a smart compiler that converts Dart code into highly optimized JavaScript code that run on Google Chrome. This smart compiler will be seen by them because when we have a modification to the Dart application, it will be dispatched in your final output instead of compiling the entire code which this technique 
your development time will definitely be speed up now let's discuss our four strategy for developing a flutter application which is a standalone application aot compiled web and native web in the case of developing a standalone application your dart program is compiled using the normal dart compiler and the compiled code can only be executed on the machine where the virtual machine can be found in order to run this panel application you must have a virtual machine otherwise you cannot run the standalone programs the question arises is to where i can get this dvm so you can get this with the dart sdk or the flutter sdk so aot compiled is very important part of flutter in dart application deployment the dart program is compiled using a technique called aot which is ahead of time compilation so before your program is deployed this kind of combination occurs by using aot compilation it convert your dart program into a specific platform executable binary file using this kind of transmission for android we can get this dot apk for ios we can get dot ipa and for windows we can get the dot exe it is this tick secret that allow dart and flutter to have the feature of multi platform application development let's take a look for deploying web application so when you are deploy a web application the dart application is compiled using dart to js which is dart to javascript compilation so it convert your dart application into optimized javascript code that can be executed on any web browser so let's look at for deployment of native application so if your dart application is being compiled with the dart to native compiler which is able to compile it into platform specific code such as for windows linux and mac with this using of dart to native compiler so that's all about my information on this topic so if you enjoy this video give it thumbs up and hit subscribe button your support means a lot so stay tuned for more videos and thank you for being here have a good day